on your marks. Get set. And hold up, wait, stop, hold the phone, knock it off, slow down. I get it, as a self-taught developer myself, I understand how exciting it is to make the decision like, hey, I really wanna get started coding, I'm gonna teach myself. But becoming a self-taught software engineer, software developer is probably the least most structured path to figure out how to develop. In four-year universities and boot camps, you have a clear set path on how to become a programmer. However, when you're a self-taught developer, those pathways can be unclear. There's so many cool languages and frameworks and libraries, and if you're anything like me, you're gonna wanna learn all of them, maybe even all at once. But in doing so, you may encounter like a ton of problems and waste months and months because you don't have a clear set path on how to actually become a specific type of developer. So that's what this video is for, to share everything that I messed up on when I was getting started as a self-taught software developer and hopefully save you months and months of time. Step numero uno, figure out your what and your why. Coding is cool and all, but if you don't really know why you want to be a software developer and what type of things you want to create, essentially what type of developer you want to be, it's going to be pretty hard to stay on track and figure out what languages and stuff you need to learn. I'm not going to pretend like I'm going to know everyone's why of why they want to become a software developer. It could be to increase your income significantly because we all know software developers get paid a pretty penny. Maybe you want to impress that person who only dates software engineers. Or to automate a super repetitive process in your workflow. I don't, I don't know. Anything. It literally could be anything. That's your why. But before I give you the keys to the kingdom, if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the bell notifications. That helps me a lot. I can't really help you with your why, but I can help you with your what. All right, so now let's figure out what type of coding powers you want to download into your head. Well, when I first got started, I really didn't know what type of developer I wanted to be. I just knew I really wanted to get started coding. So I Googled it and it told me to learn Python and I tried to learn Python, but it wasn't really for me. That's not the kind of applications that I wanted to make. So I failed at learning Python. And that's because Python wasn't really the best language to accomplish what I really wanted to make, which is web apps. If I had to do it all over again, I would pick what kind of things I was interested in creating and then work back from there. 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 <laughs> There's a ton of different disciplines you can lean towards. For example, there's mobile development, there's data science, there's front end slash web development, back end development, or you could do both of them, like full stack development. Or maybe you just wanna scrape stuff off the web. And while that's not like the total list of all coding disciplines, that's a lot of the pretty common ones. So Google around a bit and try to figure out which kind of disciplines interest you. For me, I'm a big YouTube guy, not just like, not like just making videos, but actually watching YouTube and learning stuff from YouTube. But like who better to tell you what the discipline actually entails, what that lifestyle is like and what coding languages and skills you really need to know other than the people that are actually doing it. So I checked out like a ton of YouTubers. I checked out my Yuko's page. She used to be a Netflix mobile developer. I checked out Joma. We all know Joma, he's a data scientist. Jossie's channel was amazing. He's a front end slash web developer. And then I think even Jarvis Johnson back in the good old coding days did some back end development at Patreon. All right, so for me personally, I'm like, boom, I love that whole web development, moving things around, making them look beautiful on the page. But what skills do I now need to learn how to do that. All of those creators I just mentioned have great insight into what their discipline actually requires. And they also, for the most part, have really good Discord channels where you can hop in there, become a part of a community, ask questions to really get a better understanding of that career field. When you're a self-taught software developer, you really don't have a community, or at least it feels like that when you just get started. When you're in college or when you're in a boot camp, your community is pretty well defined. It's the people left and right in your classroom. But when you're a self-taught developer, it definitely sometimes can feel like you're all alone. I've definitely been there. All right, so just like, just join a community. So you've done your research, you watched some YouTube videos, you picked up some articles at your local library, and now you know what type of software development discipline you want to learn how to do. So now your question isn't, how do I learn how to code? A question that's probably gonna get you like a million different opinions from a million different people. Your question is now, what languages do I need to learn to become this sort of discipline developer? Which is gonna refine your a million different opinions down to about three or four. And from those three or four opinions that you whittled down to, now you can make the decision on what's the most popular route to achieve the goal that you're looking for. Like what's gonna get me a job? What's popular? What's in demand in my area? Side note, take all advice on the internet with a grain of salt. Like even this advice, always do your own research before you make a decision so that when you do make that decision, it's your decision. All right, the fun part, the fun part, the fun part. We're getting to learning. 
And we're not just gonna jump into learning the first thing that comes to mind, we're gonna figure out our preferred learning style. And you shouldn't just hop into the first link that you see on Google when you type in how to become a front-end developer. You should figure out what's your best learning style before you even start to learn. So for me, I've always known of hate reading. I can't read, it's not a thing I have, it's not a skill in my tool belt, and I know that I like ingesting video content. And furthermore, I like content that I can interact with so that I can get hands-on and practice as I go, as I learn. There are like a ton of great resources out there for video content and gestation to the mind to where you can download the stuff. There's like Udacity, Free Code Camp, Udemy, so, ma so many good resources out there. So after poking around a little bit, researching, I figured out that freecodecamp.org and Udemy were my best resources for me to learn how to become a soft software developer, to learn how to code. I always get asked what course I took, and it was a Udemy course by Colt Steele, who is an amazing instructor, and that course is called The Web Developer Bootcamp. I think now it's called The Web Developer Bootcamp 2021, because it was just redone. But Colt Steele is like an amazing instructor. He's so funny, he makes it lighthearted, and he engages with you, and he has little portions that you can practice what you just learned in like a code editor or building your own application type of things. And in Colt Steele's course, I built projects along the way. Whenever you try to go through a course, you're always going to hear, don't get caught in tutorial hell, which to me, that seems like an extreme way to put it. Tutorial hell is being trapped in a bunch of tutorials and you're just watching them day in and day out and you feel like you're learning but when you try to actually make an application you're not. So I would advise you to just like build along the way, apply what you just learned and do something with it so that those skills that you just learned are now like ingrained, they're now yours. You're not just regurgitating what you heard in a video and putting it on a piece of paper, you're actually making it your own. And the nice thing about learning a language is you're not stuck with it. Like I started with C++ and Python, but then transitioned over to JavaScript. Whenever you learn one language pretty well, it makes it pretty easy to switch over to another language. I think that Kenny Gunderman guy learns languages in like a week. That's because he has a solid understanding of one foundational coding language. So good luck on whatever journey or whatever coding language you decide to pick. And if you have any questions on your pathway to learning that language, hop in my server, ask any of us questions, and we'll probably all get back to you. Thanks so much for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. And furthermore, I like content that I can interact with so that I can get hands-on and practice as I go, as I learn. Practice as I go, as I learn. Okay, yeah. <laughs>